Alright guys, uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a, a tree support for sort of a, of a canopy structure. Um, sort of shooting for something like this, a main stem with uh, secondary uh, tertiary supports uh, for the roof for example. So let's uh, open our Revit, new conceptual mass, just a mass. First thing you want to do is uh, hold control shift down and drag those vertical reference planes out it's going to create copies of them now adjust the spacing to 30 feet for example that's supposed to be 30 okay. All right, once we have that we want to draw a line Make sure you don't check the 3D snapping. You want to draw a line on the, on the horizontal plane. So let's set it to level 1. There we go. Next, we want to, let's say, draw a spline on the vertical plane, on this, on this one first. And now we want to repeat the same process on the third plane out there. Now holding control you can select both of those and hit create form. And that sort of creates a canopy for us. I'll adjust it a little bit more. Flatter. Okay. Uncheck the X ray. Select again. Cut divide surface. Uh, I'll change the V grid to 18. I just like the more rectangular grid on it. Okay, once we have that, we're gonna go to uh, open up a new family. Conceptual mass and uh, make the adaptive components. This is where we're actually gonna create our our rig for the tree support. So let's uh, go to reference plane and drop a point right in the, on the intersection of these two planes. Go back to 3D view. This is going to be our first our origin point for the placement. Let's make it adaptive. And now, since the first branch coming off is going to be the main stem, sort of, we want to keep it vertical. So let's check that orientation to be vertical in placement. Now let's set the working plane to the horizontal plane of that point number one. And let's drop a point right in the middle of it. It's going to give us an error message, a warning, saying there's two points overlapping each other. That's all right. Let's select it and drag it out. Now let's draw a line, enable 3D snapping, and connect the two points with a line. So now we have a point with the line that's sort of snapped to it so so we can adjust it. We can add a parameter to it. If you select a point there's an offset here that tells you the distance from the two points. It tells you the length of the line. So if you create a parameter called off call it offset, leave it as type. We can actually uh, open up the family types and be able to control that say 25 feet. Uh, let's leave it at 20. Okay, next thing to do is uh, drop a few more points. Let's say we want to have four sort of branches coming off of it. Select those points and make them adaptive. Next step will be to draw lines connecting those points. That will be uh, sort of branches. Click OK there. Okay, now we'll just flex it a little bit to see if they keep snap. Yeah, so they look alright. Let's load it into a project, place it in the middle, and then we have 
to select four points, we have to pick four points that the branch is going to end at. So let's do four corners. There we go. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to create the uh, secondary branches coming off of those. I'm going to show you how to flex the model, sort of modify the surface. Um, I'll also look at uh, making up the placement for the starting point for the placement of the secondary branches, making it a, a parameter. Uh, should be it. Alright, thank you.